With some of our COPD patients or other patients with respiratory issues, they might have problems expanding certain parts of their lungs. And between your assessment and nursing's assessment, you might be able to figure out which part of the lungs is not expanding as much. You can also use x-rays. You can listen to their lungs and see which part of their lungs, which lobe has decreased breath sounds. So this technique is called segmental breathing. And this is a way for you to try and teach a patient to expand those parts of the lungs where they're not really using them to their fullest extent. So if you're having patients that are having issues with maybe their lateral part of their lungs and it's not expanding outward like it should, you can have your patient sitting comfortably in a chair or on the side of a bed and you're gonna come and put your hands on the lateral edges of their ribs and you're gonna put a downward and inward pressure through your hands as they're breathing in and that gives them feedback. You're telling them to try and push your hands away. So, I want you to sit comfortably. I want you to take a breath in and move my hands. Good, and then breathe out normally. So they're just breathing in through their nose and breathing out. You can have them take a little bit bigger than a normal breath while they're doing this. And you're just gonna modify your level of resistance to give them different feedback. You can also cue them, push down a little bit. I want you to breathe out a little bit more over here and apply a little bit more pressure on one side versus the other. If you want, you're gonna time them, okay? I want you to take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, I want you to breathe in and I'm applying the downward and inward pressure and then have her breathe out. And the next time, right before she takes a deep breath in, you can do a quick stretch down and in. And that can elicit the external uh, intercostals to get them to kind of fire, almost like a PNF technique. But you're gonna have to time it, and it's gonna have to be right before she takes a breath in. All right, so breathe in, and out, and in, and out, in, and I can feel her abs kicking in and those muscles kicking in right here as I'm giving that quick stretch. So that's for the lateral segments. You can also do the segmental segments if you have one side more than the other. I'm gonna have her lay down on her side and you can put her head on the pillow or if you want, you can put the pillow right here by your hips. And what you're wanting to try and do, I'm gonna fold this up. You could even use a bolster. Go ahead and lean over it. You wanna try and get that segment that you want up on top and you're gonna just kind of stretch it and open it up, put it where it's on top, you know, so she doesn't have to work as hard against gravity. And again, you can provide some pressure while she's breathing in and out and just giving her a little feedback. I want you to try and push my hands up towards the ceiling. And I can feel her breathe in a little more and push a little higher with my hands. You can adjust the resistance here. You can also use a weight if you want to give that feedback. Now, if I wanna teach the patient how to do this themselves, I'm gonna have you sit up. I can tell them on their side to use a weight, or I can have them take this towel you're going to have, or a sheet, depending on what, how big you need it. And I'm going to have her wrap it around here and crisscross it and pull it tight. Give herself that feedback. And I'm going to just tell her, I want you to breathe in, expand your lungs, and push out that towel right here in this area. So just deep breath in, pushing that out, and expanding it, and then breathe back out. So that's for the lateral expansions. For the segmental breathing, there's also another video for the posterior segments.